Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to attempt the project I'm doing for my aunt again. Just to show you. It's not it's not bad. It's still pretty, but it's not what I had in mind for her. So it's still drying. It's wet in the middle there. So we're gonna keep this, but we're gonna try to do the flower yet again. So I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to put Artisoft Metallic White all on the base, completely covered. Done that in the past. I think the white is at the very least semi-transparent. Then I've got Artisoft Phthalo Blue, which is a semi-transparent. The, the one I just showed you, you can't see through it at all. The violet is transparent. The permanent red violet is transparent. And then the cerulean blue is semi-transparent. So those are going to be my colors that I'm going to mess with. We'll do those in that order. And my metallic white will go in between as well, just to try to keep it light. So here we go. Actually, I forgot I wanted to do something. Let me back up a little bit. All right, one of the things I forgot I wanted to do is I want to do kind of the reveal pour type of thing that Renska Dona, I think. I, I'm not looking at her name. I'm trying to recall it exactly. But what Renska does, um, a reveal pour, She's only got a couple of them up on her channel, and I've tried a couple of times, and it hasn't worked too well, but we're going to try it with this process. So, it's mainly glue with a little bit of water. It's thicker than my regular pouring medium, and we're going to pour that as the base and have a bit of a reveal pour, so we'll see how that works. Go ahead and finish spreading it out, making sure all of the base is covered. And it looks white, but it will dry clear. It's a little thin over there, get a little bit more over there. All right. Let's go ahead and torch that and get some of those bubbles out of there since I just mixed it up. Okay, let's put our tulip cup in the center. I think that's good. And I'm going to try to remember to pour a little bit, um, turn a little bit as I'm pouring to try to Keep things even. All right, let's start with phthalo blue. Now we're going to do permanent red, permanent red violet. Now, cerulean blue. 
actually let's do a little bit of the glue. It's definitely uneven, isn't it? Now the cerulean. Now the violet. Do a little metallic white. It's a little thick. <laughs> I'm going to do one more phthalo blue. All right, do the reverse dip. All right. Tilt it just a little bit this direction. Put a little more glue down, help it move here. Well, it's not wanting to move. Let's do a small spin. It's breaking down too much. Let's redo this. Okay, a million years later, <laughs> we are back. Let's try this again. This time I'm gonna go with what I was thinking of before the reveal pour. I just cannot get the reveal pour to not break down my paint. And so I gotta figure that out. It says no. All right.
Okay, so the metallic white is down. Just smooth it out, make sure it's all over. I did the white, metallic white base because I think the light will shine through with the white. And like I said, I don't think it's, um, I think there's a semi-transparency with the metallic white. I've already thrown out the bottle, so I'm not, the or, original paint bottle, so I'm not sure exactly. Let's pop those bubbles. Ah, we've got some fur or something in there. I need to remember to get that out. Oh, there's a couple of pieces of fur. Welcome to a cat house. We got one right there. And one right there. Which my aunt is a dog house, so <laughs> she wouldn't be upset by the fur. She considered it a family contribution. <laughs> All right. Since it's the same colors, I'm going to use the same cup. That right there, I think. Yeah, that looks good. All right, same order. Minus the glue. Still not keeping its flower shape very well. I think I'm getting worse and worse at these. My best one was still like my first attempt at a bloom with reverse dip. Ugh. That is not appealing, is it?
Is there any saving this? That is the big question. I forgot to get my wet paper towel. I'll be right back. All right. I see we're running off the glass. Put this down. All right, let's see what mess we've created. a light spin. Oh, it might be saved. At least we've got a flower look, right? Is there any way to fix? don't know if there's any way to fix that, but you know what? Flowers do that. They'll have gaps in the petals, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. I am going to put a little more white down in that spot just to make sure it dries nicely. Oh, we're getting some nice cells coming through. Awesome. Oh, I hope this is somewhat see-through. <laughs> Let me clean off my fingers and then I'll bring you in for a closer look. So as you can see, that is pretty cool, those cells that are coming up. There's the next petal. And the next one. It, the the cells are very tiger lily, in my opinion. Look at that. I think it is awesome. There's the center. 
All right, crossing my fingers, this dries so that the sun comes through it somewhat. We will see. But here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.